Hey guys, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can do comparative analysis using uh, a function called alternate states in ClickSense. So basically what I would teach you is how to compare two different countries side by side without each of the selection affecting the other. So you can do like proper comparative analysis and here you can see that you have selected two countries and each of them each of these graphs show show the values for my selections from group one and group two and here i've shown them together to make a comparative analysis so if you're interested stick around How do we go about creating comparative analysis in ClickSense? First things first, let's create a new sheet here. And we want to use filters. So let's go to charts, create filter pane. So this would be for, for your first one. And this would be for the second group that you want to want to add and compare right so and then let's create a bar chart here let's create two bar charts right uh, let's add a dimension that you want to use as a filter uh, for this case let's take country let's make it simple so you have country here and now what you're going to do is you're going to apply state. So first you need to create two states. So that lies here under master items in alternate states. Create new. I'm going to name this group one. And then you need another one. So I'm going to name it group two. So these are the two groups that I would be comparing against each other. Now Next, I would take group one and you can apply directly here, apply state, drag and drop. So group two, apply state, or you could also, you know, go here, go to appearance, go to alternate states and here default would be your regular one and these two. So rest of your charts would have default state, but since you're doing comparative analysis here, you would have group one and group two. So now that you've applied the states, let's add a dimension here that you want to compare. You have product and let's add product here. So you want to compare them side by side and you could add a measure. So let's say sales. Right. So now we need to make some adjustments to the measure because you haven't really connected the two here. So let's go into sales and let's open it up. Um, right. So you want to connect the two. So how do you do that? You need to connect this measure to the group states that you just created. So you want to connect the field selection to your measure. So in this case, we're going to connect this one to group one. And how do we do it? First, you add two flower bra flurry brackets and then, and then you type in your state name. So you could either call it state or you could call it group. We have called it group, so it's group one. Now, this sales measure will only calculate the sales for the item selection that you have done for the group one filter and let's say apply and here you're going to do the same and in this case it's group two because you want uh, you're connecting it to group two so let's just
and now it's connected. So what happens now? So here you're connecting, you want to check Argentina sales. So you, if you see here, it says country group one. And here you want to, let's say Argentina versus Belgium. And, and you're comparing the two different countries here. And if you, if you see here, you, you see that the group one selection that you have made is Argentina. Group two selection you have made is uh, Canada. And that's how you can do it. And of course, you can add a bunch of things and make this a little more complicated as well. But, but this is a simple way of doing it. If you want once one one more way to do it, you could. We could add. We could add a bar chart and put both of them together. So, let's let's put in product and sales so here we would do the same And I would add another I would add another dimension just to compare them in the same chart. So the first one is group one and the second one is group two. And so now you can do side by side comparisons of the two. So this is how you do it. I hope this helped you. This is really, really helpful when you're trying to make a comparative analysis. And this is something that I learned quite recently and it's helped me out a lot and I hope that it helps you. So I hope you stay tuned for more um, and good luck with clicking. Cheers.